guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be giving you guys three tips on how to gain weight if you're a skinny girl and you have a fast metabolism and you just feel helpless and you feel confused and you're like what should i do trust me i was in your shoes i was in your shoes let me tell you guys i was so skinny growing up i wore a size zero yes I was skinny skinny okay <laughs> so i was tired of it and i didn't do it for other people i definitely got made fun of and all that but i just did it for myself i'm like i want to fit good in my clothes like i want to feel more confident and you know i just want to like just look good like come on so <laughs> so i you know went on this journey and i started to gain weight and i literally went from the like 120s to right now I'm like 157. <laughs> yes, I have made mistakes on the way. Like I remember one time I was, I think my highest like was like 165. So I don't want you guys to make any mistakes. That's why I'm going to give you guys the deets right now. But before we get to it, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. I'm so happy for my new subscribers. I'm up to 5,000 subscribers so far. So let's keep this going but let's get to this video all right so first let's cover this important tip which is eating oh my goodness some people are eating so wrong not only you know the certain foods that they're eating but also when they're eating this is so crucial so a lot of people skip breakfast which is so bad and trust me if you want to gain weight you cannot skip breakfast okay so be sure to eat you know when you wake up your lunch your snacks and all that stuff and your dinner like you cannot let your body fast when you fast guess what it's going straight to the fat the little fat that you do have and it's gonna burn it so be sure to eat one time now the second part of this is increasing your calories so i noticed that when a lot of people want to gain weight they make the biggest mistake and which is just picking out i'm just gonna eat so much food thinking that that's the best thing to do no 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 that is not what you want to do you want to slowly increase your calories so for example if you get about 2000 calories a day increase it maybe every day to 2200 or go up to like 2300 if you increase it from 2000 to 3000 calories that's called spilling and you're actually going to gain a lot of unwanted fat have you guys noticed that when you're you know eating a lot you tend to like swell up in your face your arms your chest anywhere yeah that's because you know you're getting bloated and your body's like all right so she's consuming way too much calories I don't even know where to put these fat cells. So it's just going to put it anywhere. So you don't want to do that. You want to make sure that you're gradually increasing your calories so that your body can adapt and you can gain weight in the right places. So as you're tracking your calories, you definitely want to track your macros. This is so important. So while you're eating, let's just say you eat, you know, eggs for breakfast and maybe some rice and chicken for lunch and maybe a salad for dinner. You know, I'm just making an example, right? And you probably are not really aware of how much macros you're eating so when we say macros we're talking your protein your healthy fats and your carbs this is so essential for weight gain because a lot of people aren't getting enough protein a lot of people aren't getting those definitely not getting those healthy fats and um a lot of people actually consume too much carbs so if you don't track your macros you're not going to get the proper nutrients you need in order to gain weight so the best method that i say is do 50 40 10 or you can do 40 40 20 and so if you do the 50 40 10 that is 50 percent protein 40 percent carbs 10 percent fat or if you do 40 40 20 40 percent protein 40 percent carbs 20 percent fat Okay, so this is so essential. As you can see, I'm doing 
pretty much a little bit more protein than carbs. You definitely don't want to overload on carbs because carbs is going to spike your insulin, especially bad carbs like white rice, white bread, french fries, <laughs> all that good stuff. So make sure that you track your macros. So speaking of protein, you want to make sure that you drink a protein shake. So I actually made a video up here and it's basically about the protein shakes that I drink post-workout or even sometimes just, you know, on a regular basis just to add those extra calories. Now, I wouldn't recommend it, you know, to rely on it. Let's say if you just don't eat breakfast and you don't eat lunch or something like that. No, don't rely on protein shakes in general. I believe in eating quality food as the main source to gaining weight, but protein shakes are something to consider. So I will leave a link of the protein powder that I use as well as the video on how to make it. All right, so now that we talked about dieting, let's go to my second tip and that is basically exercising. So it is so important to work out on a regular basis. I work out about two to three times a week you know, when I'm a little bit more busy, then it's only two. But I try to go for at least three times a week because you want your muscles to build and get stronger and also get bigger in size. So there's a variety of workouts that you can do. My favorites, of course, is the glute workouts, you know, hip workouts, thighs, all that because you know, you want to sculpt that body <laughs> to look really, really nice. So I definitely will leave a link of the variety of workouts that I do. And I, as you can see, you can just, you know, browse my channel and see all the different types of workouts. The key to gaining weight in the gym is to make sure that you're doing the correct exercises the correct way. So you want to do a low amount of reps, a high amount of sets, and you wanna do heavy weights. So let's put you know everything together. So let's say if you're doing squats, right? You wanna do about maybe eight reps of squats. Then you're gonna make sure that you do about four to five sets. And you wanna make sure you're doing a heavier weight. Now, I can't tell you exactly how heavy you should go. That all depends on how professional you are in the gym. You know, some of you guys are starting out, so I don't expect you guys to squat, you know, 100 pounds. <laughs> but with that being said, I would recommend doing progressive overload. So if you are starting out in the gym and you can only do like 20 pound weights within the next, week or two try to progress to 40 pounds and then 50 pounds and 60 pounds this is a slow and steady way to gain weight the right way all right guys so for my last tip and this is so so important if you want to have long lasting results i need you guys to create a planner yes it is so important to have a planner or some sort of schedule that you're following so you are not going to slip up. You need to check yourself. I recommend using timers. Literally, if you're that type of person that forgets to eat food, I trust, trust me, I, I completely understand. You know, if we have busy schedule, you wanna put in your timer, you know, 10 o'clock, eat breakfast, um, three o'clock, snack, five o'clock, lunch, eight o'clock dinner. Those things are so important for you to keep up with eating food. Also, a planner is so important because let's say if you have a really busy week ahead of you, you want to make sure that you plan ahead. You'll say, okay, well, I'm going to relax on Monday, but Tuesday I'm going to cook and I'm going to meal prep for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. You see what I mean? Like it is so important to stay organized because it's really, really going to help you in your goals. And I really want you guys to understand that gaining weight for some people is an easy kick. Like they could just eat as much as they want to and um, they may put it all in the right places, you know, it's just going to be a piece of cake for some people. But I want you guys to understand that for a lot of us, especially people like me or other people that is similar to me that has a fast metabolism, it is going to be a challenge. I'm not going to be one of those YouTubers and tell you, oh yeah, this is going to be so easy. You're going to gain it in two days. No. 
<laughs> no, realistically speaking, it may take at least a month to start seeing results. But trust me, you will see it if you stick to the correct diet plan, you work out the correct way, and also you just plan and organize yourself well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sound off in the comments. Let me know are you on your weight gain journey right now? What exactly is difficult for you? Like, let's have a conversation below and be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.